Shalom Aleichem. How painful it is to see, to realize, to know that unfortunately the world did not came to any conclusions that are solid enough to change the nature of our negative controlling mindset that allows the horrible leaders of the world to go and to kill innocent civilians without considering no feelings, no emotions, no no destiny of any family, of any soul, without giving it into the heart, taking it into the heart, that there are lives of people over there that are being changed in a moment because of your decisions. Very unfortunate thing to see that leaders are able until today to twist the positive route of the growth and developing of the world and just using the simple people, the regular people, as pawns in king's games. We need to be very strong in our minds not to give up because of that and not to fall to despair when we think that the world is going towards big wars or horrible plagues, any kinds of games that the fake leaders of the generations are playing using us, trying to achieve their own goals, to increase their power and control in the world, without seeing, without understanding that the sky is judging, the earth, the ground, are writing down all our movements. And the truth is a witness to itself what that really happened in the world will be seen again. We will be judged on any movement, on anything we did in our lives. Every single thing we did, every word we said, every thought we had, every sight we saw, every breath we took, every single thing that we did affected the world and by that it was written was written was written on the pages of history and it shall come back and when it will come back we will be notified of the judgment of heaven's court we will stand to accept the results of heaven's judgment heaven's court the righteous ones the ones that were pure in their heart and that their intentions were good, they will enjoy a great blessing. They will enjoy eternal life, a moment of redemption. On every moment of closeness that they had, on any moment of honesty and truthfulness that they had, if they kept mitzvah or just being good people and worthy for redemption, they will experience the redemption for that moment. That moment will come back after trial to be rewarded for being under the sky of Hashem as part of the creation of Hashem and all the moments that ever took place will experience or the judgment of going down to hell God forbid and disappear or to enjoy eternal redemption so how scary it is for horrible people that won't have a good ending to their cruel and harsh decision, decisions making life process. But how fortunate and blessed will be those ones who paid attention to the inner voice of our Maker and worked on themselves to become better people and invested their times and power into coming closer and closer to our Maker, to the Creator, to Hashem.
We need to understand that if we don't have the power to, oh man, where is the camera? We need to understand that if we don't have the power to fight a political war because we are like regular people, common people, it does not mean that we're not able to assist and to do big things with our prayers. We need to pray and we need to pray hard and we need to pray from the heart and we need to call the creator of the universe and to ask him to change the way he supervises the world that for now he is supervising on us with judgments but we're asking to reveal the loving kindness the mercy of Hashem upon us and to heal the world and to make it a safer and better and nicer place for us and for our children to live in May the light of truth and goodness will shine and that the redemption will take place in our days. Amen.